Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the new navigation gestures that you get on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus with Android 10 One UI 2.0. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now real quick, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna go to the settings, I'm gonna go all the way down, I'm gonna go to the about phone, I'm gonna tap on software information, and boom, you've got the One UI 2.0 with Android 10. Tap this a couple times and you get the little logo, all right? It's really fantastic that we're getting more and more options to customize our phones with the new One UI 2.0 as opposed to downscaling the product. So we're in the settings right now. I'm gonna to go to display. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. And as you can see, we have the navigation bar right here. I'm gonna tap on it. And right now we have the navigation buttons, which is something you're all familiar with. So when I click on the full screen gestures, that's the new gestures uh, option. Now I do want to let you know, if you tap on the more options, you still have the option to choose from swipe from bottom which is the three buttons you get at the bottom here. And as you know, this is just a regular one. You go back, you bring up the multitasking pane just like that. You go back inside. To go back in a menu, you just swipe up just like this. So that's something we know. But the new full screen gestures is the swipes from sides and bottom. So when I enable this, we only get one bar at the, at the bottom here. Also, if I go back, by the way, to go back, you swipe on the screen just like this and you can also disable the gesture hints right here. So I can tap on this one, and now I have a full screen product, uh, which looks much better than having buttons at the bottom or lines at the bottom for some people. So now I can go back just like this. If I wanna bring up the multitasking pane, I swipe up from the bottom, let go, boom, we've got the pane. We have a nice little bouncing effect, as you can see. And when I go back inside, like I said, if you wanna go back, you just swipe like this and it takes you back. Now we also have the option, let me go back home here, let me just launch the phone application, uh, let me launch the messages application, and then what we can also do is if I have this launched, I can swipe from the sides towards the next application just like that, okay? So that's kind of like iPhone and I do like that option, so you can easily using your thumb, if you're holding your phone with one hand, swipe between applications just like this, which is also part of these new gestures. So let me go back in here real quick, navigation bar, and then you have a couple more options here. Now, if I enable this, if I tap on more options, at the bottom, I can change the back gesture sensitivity, all right? So if I have this at high, it's gonna be very easy to go back, as you can see, okay? If I do it at lower, you do have to put some little bit of work to go back, which is also great. Uh, they both work if you once get used to it. And then finally, with the Note 10, we have the block gestures with S Pen. So if you have your S Pen, let me just pull this out real quick. If you pull your S Pen out, uh, it's gonna make sure that, let me go back here, it's gonna make sure that it's not gonna activate the gestures if I go like this with the S Pen, okay? Because you could be drawing something, you'll be on the edges of the screen, so nothing's gonna happen as you're doing this uh, with the S Pen. So that's uh, unique to the Note 10. So those are the new full screen gestures on the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus with Android 10 and One UI 2.0. If you want to see the complete feature set of the One UI 2.0, simply click the link down below to see all the new features we have received for the One UI 2.0. All right, guys, drop comments, questions, concerns down below. And for now, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.